What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So today I have right here the third gen, the 2022 iPhone SE and this is in starlight and I know I am a couple days late to this unboxing but I want to share my first impressions and thoughts and how it compares to iPhone SE 2 or the 2020 iPhone SE this is not going to be a full comparison of the two I do have a separate video coming soon about iPhone SE 2 and iPhone SE 3 but before I do begin I'd really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and turn on the bell notifications as it does help out the YouTube algorithm and will help push my content out to more people anyway let's dive right in all right so here is the iPhone SE box definitely is like all of the other iPhone boxes that we know as of late because it doesn't come with a charging brake that's okay but let's just listen to this peel right here nah eh. Nothing too much. Is there a peel on the bottom? There is. There we go. So here is iPhone SE 3. A lot of people are just kind of, wow. okay, oh, okay. Let's pull this out. There we go. And wait, the box actually smells really good. I got to point that out. The box smells pretty good. Wow. Okay, I know we've seen this design before, but I, I like it. I really do. It's just plain. And if you look at this real quick, it looks almost, it's literally identical. Same body, same everything. Obviously, product red, it says product red right on the bottom here. This is the starlight. So it's not really 100% white, um, but it still has that white shade to it. Uh, and I, I actually like how it has this front that's a black coating and then the back is obviously white. Um, they don't have any white white fronts anymore with iPhone SE or with newer iPhones at all, obviously. Um, but with this peeler right here, the screen protector or this plastic protector covering that comes with the iPhone SE, they now have indicators for the volume buttons, for the mute switch button, the power button, as well as touch ID. So that's a new, that's a new addition, but let's take this wrapper off. There we go. There is the new 2022 iPhone SE. And I gotta say, I mean, like I said, we've seen this design before, but uh, looking at it with iPhone SE 3, I don't know, I just, I guess I maybe like the white color better than the red, but let's boot this up and I'll be right back. All right, so iPhone SE 3 is all set up. I have yet to put in my SIM card in. And I'm going to be making a full review, hopefully, on the iPhone SE 3. Uh, but overall, I'm super excited to test this out. I know, I know, I know. I mean, it's the same design we've seen from iPhone 8. And in fact, this is like the same body design that we've seen from all the way from iPhone 6 from 2014, like an eight-year-old design. There's been a couple of refinements from the iPhone 6 to the iPhone 8 and then iPhone SE. But overall, it's we've seen this design. And believe me, a lot of people still like having a home button. A lot of people still like having a home button touch ID and having the small portable. It's a little bit larger than iPhone 13 mini um, because of all of that bezel, but it has a smaller screen. Nonetheless, though, I, I still dig it. I still really like this and I like this Starlight too. I will be comparing both of these, the iPhone SE 2 as well as the iPhone SE 3 and see how they stack up. I mean, this was a great device. Apple A13 uh, had no hiccups at all. And this has Apple A15, the same chipset found in the iPhone 13 lineup. That's crazy. Obviously, it also has an extra gig of RAM. So four gigs of RAM in this iPhone has a slightly larger battery capacity. Uh, so I'm hoping that there's better battery life than the iPhone SE 2. It doesn't have MagSafe and I was really hoping for this to have MagSafe, but Nonetheless, it's still here, iPhone SE 3, and this is still going to sell like hotcakes. Believe me, I know maybe the tech enthusiasts like you and I who are watching this or me who is reviewing this, I won't be using this as my main, main device uh, forever, but uh, it's still going to sell like hotcakes for the consumer who just wants to enter the Apple ecosystem or the consumer who wants that home button and isn't looking for the latest and greatest. A phone that has a good camera, a phone that performs well, a phone that is an iPhone that doesn't break the bank. $30 more expensive than its predecessor, uh, but I guess that's normal. So well, we're gonna dive all of, into all of the stuff in the full review. My first impressions overall, 
I like this. I like this color. I like this phone. It's nice, great. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Uh, some may disagree with me, but I think it's it's a great design. So I have no issues with it, but we still have a time for that full review. Anyway, that's really been it from me in today's episode. If you did enjoy, be sure to superman the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. Believe me, a lot of great content is coming to the channel very soon, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Anyway, that's been it from me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.